Hey everybody, it's Tyler with the Cigar Experience Review. We're gonna get into a good cigar tonight. I'm looking forward to it. It's the Big Payback by Room 101. Connecticut, creamy. It's gonna be good, but let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to be cutting this a with a V cut. I've got the uh, Calibri Deep V. Uh, I really love it because it really makes a great uh, honestly, like it sounds redundant, but deep V cut. So it just gives a good old gash right down the middle there. If I wanted to, I could cut it again this way and make it kind of an X cut. Uh, but you know what? Looks good to me. It's a good deep V there. This is the Gorda, uh, Gordo. Uh, it's a six inch by 60 ring gauge. So it's almost a full inch from here to here, almost a full inch. And, um, Really, really great wrapping. I mean, the construction is perfect. It's not too dense. No big gnarly veins. Beautiful wrapping. Um, it's got a real sweet, but almost like a, it's got like a hay barnyard smell to it. So I'm super pumped. Um, like I said, it's it's great pack. No, no, um, you know, I, I often kind of feel the edges, making sure it's, see how it is, if there's any like big, like soft spots, but there isn't any. Uh, Room 101, they, they do really good cigars, so I, I typically don't find any flaws in their stuff, but, um, you know, it's always good to check. Um, so the uh, fillers in this are uh, Dominican filler, and then, um, the wrapper is Ecuadorian Connecticut. So, um, super pumped. You might hear my neighbor across the way in his big old loud truck, but it's all right, we'll keep going. So I'm just gonna get, I'm toasting the foot here, getting a really red all around the outside. And then, Perfectly toasted. All right. So I get a creamy note. I get some, I mean, it tastes real good uh, amount of hay. Like that's a, that's a normal good uh, flavor note in there. The six, the six by 60, it's a little bit thick for me. I uh, typically go more of a 54 inch ring gauge, more of a Corona, I'm sorry, uh, Robusto style. But uh, from time to time, you just gotta smoke new things. And again, I'm getting that creamy note. I'm getting hay, some earth. On the retro hail, I'm getting a little bit of, a little bit of pepper. Typically, a really light cigar like this is going to have uh, some some lighter notes to it. It's going to have a, a, a you know you're not going to get your chocolates and your espresso notes. You're not going to get your really bold flavors. You're going to get more creamy notes and hay. Um, but this is really more flavorful than I expect from a, a Connecticut. So uh, let's get into the first third and. See how it smokes. All right, we are into that first third for sure. Um, gosh, look at that! Rate. Look at that burn. It is. It is just flat. It's. I guess it's off by like a quarter, half, eighth of an inch. But it is super, super straight and burning like a champ. S good smoke output. Uh, I would still say it's about a medium smoke output. It's not going to be that Liga Pravada like super plume, but um, man, really good smoke. <sighs> Matt Booth is, uh, you can't have anything but respect for the guy. The guy is a brilliant, brilliant blender. And I mean, the guy, 
Just genius. Cheers, Matt. You're doing well. You're doing good stuff. Uh, I'll take this payback any day. I mean, honestly. It's so good. So, in the first third, I'm still getting a lot of that cream. Creamy flavor. Creamy note. Great smoke. Great draw. It's really good construction. It's an easy... Like, this is this is just the perfect sit back and enjoy a good cigar. I want to just sit. I don't want to think about um, too much complexity. I really just want to get after sitting down, enjoying, having relaxation, uh, some relaxation time, maybe having a good cup of coffee to go with it. Um, this would be a perfect morning cigar. Um, gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to have this again tomorrow morning. I have another one. Uh, tomorrow morning with a good cup of coffee and you know maybe just getting some good early morning reading in and things like that so uh, really a great great cigar here um, like I said I am getting some of those those creamy notes I'm getting that hay still I'm getting that earth um, there's kind of a woody wood oak cedar I'm not too good on the on definitions of like between the oak and the cedar but you just got that kind of that lumber um, flavor to it like if you went into like a woodshed you get that kind of woody uh vibe uh there's also something a little extra i wonder if it's like a like a baking spice not too not like a pepper but like clove nutmeg uh some of those baking spices not a lot of it just there's some there outside of like a normal hay wood uh cream there's there's a little bit of baking spice in there too as well really does give this Connecticut some good variety um, I typically steer away from Connecticut's just because it's not as um, three-dimensional for me I like a little more flavor profile um, but I gotta be honest I really this is a great one I mean if, if you're gonna go Connecticut like I would go big payback so uh, well done Matt Booth and then uh, I of course got this cigar from my guys up at Nickel City Cigar um, Again, you can get boutique stuff. They've got Room 101. They've got all the crown heads. They've got a bunch of, bunch of stuff. So Nickel City is where I got this from. Um, I'll, again, I'll put the, the notes and the, the website down below. And so check them out. Again, they're veteran guys out there. Uh, local shop up in Buffalo. But they also do an online gig. So you can get your cigars shipped to you. So, um, all right. I'll see you in the second third. into the second third here and uh, got a little bit of weird burn but flavors are still right there they're really good there was a bit of a drop off in the flavor um, probably after the first couple minutes uh, after light up that's pretty typical though and so um, still going well I mean ash is holding on strong like I said, there's a bit of a weird burn there. I'm not gonna correct it just now. I'm gonna let it correct itself. I have a feeling it's gonna. Um, but uh, that ash is going on strong. So great construction still, great draw, good flavor. That's it, consistent throughout so far. There hasn't been any like new flavors come in and there hasn't been any drop off of anything else. If anything, I would just say that the the uh, the level of flavor has dropped just a little bit, but I'm still getting that hay. I'm still getting that creamy note. Still getting those baking spice. Um, so, so far so good. See you in the final third. All right, y'all. I'm not quite to that f final third yet. So still in the middle third, second third there. But I do got a question. So, like I mentioned before. Um, this is, you know, smoking cigars for me is, it's less about the tobacco and more about people connecting, getting to, to know people more, getting to get down to real conversations. Uh, again, you know, the, the idea of, hey, how are you? I'm good. Hey, how are you really? I'm not doing so well. Okay, let's get into it. Like, what, what's going on in your world, you know? And I just don't like the fake answer. I'm good, I'm blessed, brother. Life is blessed and living my best life. The truth of it is, 
is is we we all are dealing with something we're all going through something and we all are processing something that honestly most of us need some counsel on most of us need to to bounce an idea off of a friend most of us need to say hey i'm i'm struggling with some anxiety can i can i talk with you um you know a bunch of buddies of mine at work and i we you know we know that if I go tap a buddy on a shoulder and say, hey man, I need to take a lap around the building with you. Will you walk with me for a little bit and just, just air my thoughts and air my things. And so that's really what tobacco has been about, really what cigars have been about. That's why we do the podcast, uh, the Honest Cigar Experience. We do, um, you know, I, I do a, a cigar business as well. And the whole idea is to increase your, improve your cigar experience but really that's about sharing deeper connections with people. And so uh, the deeper connection question for this uh, review is actually going to be, what does winning look like for you? So I've been kind of mulling over my head like, hey, how do I know I'm winning in my own life? How, how do I know I'm winning in, in my marriage? How do I know I'm winning as a parent? Uh, I've got three kids. My, my beautiful wife and I have three kids. And uh, again, the question is, what does winning actually mean? Does it mean a well-stocked humidor, a, a good steak on a Saturday night, a fridge full of beer, or does it mean going to church, having purpose? Does it mean uh, friendships? Does it mean starting a business and making a million dollars in a year? Like, what does winning for you look like? And it might be just a money thing it might be how many cars you have in the driveway but post in the comments I'd love to hear what is the question the question is what does winning look like for you how do you know that you are winning in your life and uh, yeah I'm still trying to figure it out for myself I gotta be honest with you uh, I think honestly winning is changing because my definition of what it means to be a good husband is changing and a good father is changing a good uh, fellow citizen is changing um, but I think that for me it's honestly when yeah I don't know I'm still working it out but uh, I used to think that it was influence when people when people sought your wisdom and they sought you out and they asked you questions and they they wanted to know you and they wanted to know your thoughts and they wanted to know your wisdom um, having an impact in people's life I guess and I'm finding that that maybe it's still the same but it's less like it's not as massive like I I, I thought it was like I in order for me to be to for me to win People needed to know my name around the world. And honestly, I'm finding it less and less, and I'm finding more and more, I just want my kids and my wife to say, you know what, he did the best he could. He did the best, and he was a good, good guy. And if I got the approval of those three amazing kids, and I got the approval of that amazing woman, I think I'm winning. Like, that's, 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 Call that a W, baby. Like, that's that's a win. And so, um, I don't know. I'm still working it out. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What does winning look like? Almost down to that final third. We'll talk in a minute. All right, y'all. Down to the final third. And, um, again, that razor, that burn is razor flat. I mean, it's just a perfect construction. I never ended up correcting it. it. It did it by itself, which was great. Those flavors are awesome. <coughs> so, so actually, uh, weirdly enough, the last, uh, probably the last, last 10 minutes, so just after I ended that last segment, I ended up uh, another flavor just kind of creeped in, which was really great because it was more of a kind of a bready um, cracker almost uh, almost uh, like a graham cracker type there's that creamy note there's the hay now there's this bread element to it which is just really great it's a lot of times for the end of your cigar you get this kind of bitter note 
uh, to have that sweetness still in there is is really really wonderful so uh, I'm almost done here um, I I gotta say this is um, this is probably my favorite Connecticut out of all that I've smoked uh, I've got a lot of catching up to do I'm gonna redo a lot of the cigars that I've smoked over the last couple years and do the review on them on this channel um, uh, you know I know that we got a kayak in the back and I know we got a uh, some lumber and some boards and stuff and and I know that the the this video is probably the last video this video they're probably not like the, the most sexy videos the greatest videos but a buddy of mine and I were talking and um, he mentioned a good phrase he said don't let perfection be the enemy of good don't be afraid to start something even if it's not perfect even if it's not professional even if it's not like this whole thing just start just do it just do the thing and work out how it all happens right so so I know this is not the most attractive video and I know this is probably like again the first few basic videos that we're doing but you know what this is gonna be a lot of fun I'm looking forward to the adventure smoking and doing some good cigar reviews uh, we're probably gonna get a better background in in a couple weeks or months or year. I don't know who knows um, You know, we're doing the podcast and we're having a great time with it and If the first couple of podcasts were just clunky But again, it doesn't matter like just start the thing right so don't wait till it's perfect before you start it Like just start it and work out the kinks along the way um, So that's how this YouTube channel is gonna go. That's how the podcast started as well uh, that's how almost every business I know of starts as well. Don't be afraid. Just start and start unprofessional. Start kind of weird and just just start, right? So uh, going back to the question, what does winning look like? I honestly think that winning looks like just starting. Just start. And so uh, I'm wrapping up this cigar review. Uh, this, you know... One of the things that I would like to make sure I mention at the end of every cigar is, is this something that I would buy a box of? Is this something that I would buy 10 cigars of, five cigars, never gonna smoke it again? That's kind of my gauge. I'm not, I'm not, I can give you the numbers and we can go into like super details of like, oh, this is a 9.5. And th we might do that down the road. But for right now, is it box worthy? Is it 10 sticks worthy? Is it just occasional smoke worthy? And I gotta, I gotta say, Room 101, uh, the big payback, box worthy, multiple box worthy. I will definitely be buying some of these for sure. Um, hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on, on if you've had the big payback. I'd love to hear your comments on what winning looks like. I'd love to hear your comments on maybe just your favorite cigar that I should try out and review. So give me your feedback there. I appreciate you guys. Have a good rest of the night. We'll talk soon.